Hey, I'm Dara Small, the PR and Content Manager here at Transit, and today I'm going to walk you through Transit RSI. Transit RSI is a cloud-based remote interpretation software which helps event organizers add multilingual interpretation to their on-site, online, or hybrid events. This enables them to reach international audiences as well as increasing engagement. Transit RSI includes the presenter's interface, the interpreter's booth, our advanced iframe widget, and the Transit RSI app, which is used by your audience. So now we'll take a look at how you host an event with Transit RSI. Once the details of the event are shared with us, we create a conference room with all of the specific details, like name of conference, the client's logo, the start time and end time, and all of the languages in which interpretation will be required. So let's assume that the event is a virtual event on Zoom. When the interpreters join the event on Zoom, they will also join the Transit RSI interpreters booth through the interpreters link. This link will be provided well in advance. Here they enter their name, select the language in which they need to provide the interpretation, and once they do that, they will be inside the Transit RSI booth. Their microphones will be muted on Zoom because they will just be passive listeners there but they can watch and hear everything that's happening on Zoom in this broadcast screen. So all they have to do is listen to the speaker and provide interpretation. The attendees can listen to interpretation by using the Transit RSI app, which is available on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. All they need to do is enter their six digit code in the app. Once they do that, they will be prompted to select the language in which they want to hear the interpretation. They also have the option to use the Transit RSI web link to listen to the interpretation. All they need to do simply is select the language from the drop down menu and click turn on. Another important component of the Transit RSI platform is an advanced iframe widget. This allows virtual platforms to embed our application directly into their user interface. Our widget is highly customizable, therefore it is up to the virtual platform to design the design, user flow and experience. We have recently integrated with Microsoft Teams, so let me show you how that works. Here Transit RSI has already been added to this event by the event organizer, therefore the attendees can simply click on the button to open the widget. As you can see the widget fits seamlessly within the platform. The attendee can click on the drop down menu and then choose the language of interpretation. It's that simple. We are also happy to announce that Transit RSI is now available for white labeling. We can remove any Transit branding, allowing you to provide a clean interface like this. All that is visible are the languages in the drop down menu, the turn off and on buttons and the volume rocker button. For another example, here is a web link with the client's logo, the conference details and the Transit branding. But you can also go for something like this with the client's logo and the conference details but no Transit branding. Now let's take a closer look at the interpreters booth. The interpreters who will be providing the interpretation for any event, be it online, offline or hybrid, will join this booth. The interface is pretty minimalistic and yet we have some new features which are not available everywhere. First we have the broadcast screen. The interpreters can watch and listen to the speaker at the event and provide interpretation in real time, which the attendees listen to on the app or through the web link. We also have an internal audio and video connection between the interpreters. So if there's any problem or if one of the interpreters sees the other is struggling for some reason, they can quickly take over and avoid any disruption to the interpretation. We have also added a spot for the tech support. The tech support executive is always vigilant so that if one of the interpreters has any technical difficulties, they can fix it for them and ensure the stream is uninterrupted. Another cool feature of the platform is the translator's chat. Here we have the hotkeys which are used for swift communication between the two interpreters, or they can simply type any message and it will be received by the interpreter on the other end in real time. In this update, we have also added the relay feature. This comes in handy when a presenter is speaking in a rare language and another interpreter in a separate booth needs to help provide the interpretation. Let's assume Mongolian to German is the rare combination the client requires. You can imagine there are not a lot of interpreters specializing in Mongolian to German. In this scenario, we create multiple booths, wherein one booth is equipped to translate Mongolian to English, and the second booth will further translate the event from English to German. 
When Joe, our interpreter in this booth, clicks on the relay button, you can see a list of languages mentioned here. And when he clicks on English, he can receive audio from his fellow interpreter in the other booth and then translate from English to German for the audience on the app. Lastly, let's talk about the handover feature, which is the one that we have added based on feedback from the interpreters in the past. Right now, Joe, our first interpreter, has clicked on the on air button and is live for the attendees on the app. Let's assume Joe wants to take a break. He simply needs to click on this initiate handover button and it starts flashing yellow. This indicates to Alex, who is Joe's partner, that he needs him to take over. Alex also has the option to click this button to reject the handover request. But for now, he simply accepts it and has five seconds to get ready before he is on air. So that concludes our walkthrough of Transit RSI. We have many more features and convenient updates of our software, and we are happy to discuss them with you over a meeting. Our contact information is on screen, and we look forward to any questions that you might have. I'm Dara Small. Goodbye, and thank you for joining me here today.